Hello there guys and gals, The Welsh Under here, back with yet another Xbox Game Pass video. And I'll be telling you what you have got to look forward to from now until the end of April. But before that, let's take a little look at what's leaving Game Pass, shall we now? So it's three very and quite easy games are on their way out. Fractured Minds, Endless Legends and Moving Out. Also, For the King, Level Head and Thumper. So if you want easy achievements, especially from the 15 minute Fractured Minds, and to sample the others, you've got about a week or so left to do it. So, let's just see what's been added to Xbox Game Pass in the coming weeks, shall we? And first up then is MLB The Show 21. Now, this enraged every PlayStation fan, which I think a lot of people found hilarious, including myself, I'm very sorry. Um, but it really did rile up the PlayStation fan base. Now, the former Sony exclusives have now not only come to Xbox, but it is incredibly available on, like I said, Game Pass straight away. I mean, cha -chinga. So, what are we looking at? Incredible intense moments and stunning visuals in 4K 60fps, an awesome story, and more incredibly, the ability to play with your friends on the PS4 or PS5 thanks to crossplay. Now, as for achievements, it's hard to say if they are easy and how long it takes, but by the looks of things and what people are saying is, I mean, well, since the time of this recording anyway, over 19,000 people have played it on True Achievements, 13 have completed it, which I believe is now over 20, but for a day one release for the price cheaper than a fat boy takeaway, yeah, you need to get on this game. Next up then we have Fogs, or P-Hogs, or P-Hogs. Uh, this is coming to PC only as it's already available on console. So in P-Hogs, we play as Diogs in a proper fun, wacky puzzle adventure where we do the usual dog stuff, bite, bark, bitch and bounce our way through a few themed worlds, mainly being sleep, food and play, uh, of course. <laughs> now it is a fun game and the achievements are relatively easy as well as a bonus. Now a lot does come down to collectibles but nothing is missable as we can play the game however we wish. So play the game, story related achievement unlocks, beat bosses, then clean up with getting all the collectibles after. This is genuinely a fun one to play, and by the way, like I said earlier, it's already on console, so this is just the PC version, but sadly there is no double stacked achievements. And the third game that's coming out is Second Extinction. Now this is coming to cloud console and PC, and is available from April the 28th. Now, who doesn't love a game where dinosaurs are the enemy? Also, who doesn't love a game where the enemy is smarter than you? Bring in Second Extin uh, Extinction, where it's humans versus dinosaurs on unique maps with differing unique dinos to slap around, or try to at least. So you and up to two friends try to lower the threat level on maps, succeed, and the dinos retreat. Fail to keep the hordes at bay, and they return, retaliate, and hit you with overwhelming death and more dangerous enemies. Now, achievements-wise, again, it gets released on 28th of April, as I've said, uh, but it comes as a game preview, but it does come with achievements this time. But for the most part, it seems easy enough, you know, complete maps, kill dinosaurs with this or that, but there is one that will take a while, and that's for killing 6,666 enemies. Ugh. Why do devs do that? <laughs> but as long as you enjoy the game, then that should come very naturally. If you're only in it for achievements, prepare for a grind. Otherwise, the game genuinely does look very fantastic, and I can't wait to get stuck in. Next up on the list then, we have Destroy All Humans, and oh boy am I excited about this one. Now this is coming again to cloud, console, and PC, and it's available from the April 29th. But what can I say about this masterpiece? But mother of God, mother of God. It's on Game Pass, yes! The cult classic is back, and it is sublime. If you didn't play the original way back when, boy are you in for a treat. Hilarious dialogue, the Invader Zim voice actor, and an all-round fun-filled human-destroying game. Achievements-wise, 95% of the game is very simple, especially when you complete the game and can go back to mop up any levels with all your upgrades, etc. Now this comes in especially handy for doing all of the three stars in every mission. The last 5% though is the challenges. Again, most parts, it's pretty easy, but there will be a few that can give you the sticky, vicky bit of annoyance. Namely, the last few challenges in Capital City, but yours truly, right meow, has a 100% achievement guide and walkthrough out for it, so make sure to check that out if you ever get stuck. 
Also, if you feel yourself about to lose it and launch your controller, go away, chill out, take a dump and come back. You will be surprised how much that works when you've chilled out. And next up on the list then we have an absolute nether classic. The brilliant Fable 3 comes to Game Pass for cloud only though. Now if you never played it, it is a huge fun RPG where your actions take note all over the world. You Do you be nice and live a fine life or be a jerk and have an evilly hilarious time? Every choice is yours to make. No achievements, they're not that bad at all really. They feel more of a grind rather than being difficult. Although there are three missable achievements, mainly for not getting knocked out during the game at all, and Tough Love, which you need to save the max number of Albions by the end of the Rulings story. There's a few online ones and plenty of collectibles, but to be honest it never gets boring and it is a very fun completion. And last but not least we have an even better Fable game in my opinion. Fable Anniversary, which again is coming to cloud only and it is available the same day as Fable 3, April the 30th. But Fable Anniversary is pretty much everything I explained for Fable 3, but it's more of a stunning HD remake of the original Fable, which is why it's even better. Now your choices mould the world you live in. Again, you'd be nice or you can be a jerk off. The choice is yours. It's even better and easier for achievements too. There are always the collectibles to grab, but it can be done in one playthrough. And you can just crack on with the story if you so wish, because you should be able, to, you should be good to go to get any achievement at any time. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this classic and an all-new sexy Shimmer and Shine HD. So that then is the list coming for the end of April. Now, are you excited to play any of these games, or are you a bit more meh on the spectrum? Let me know in the comments below, smash that like and subscribe button, and also share with a friend. Check me out on Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon. And by the way, a big shout out to all the legends who do support the channel on Patreon. Love you guys to death. But that is it from me then, guys and gals. See you in the next one. Big love you.